What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Cam ATL. Shout out to the DFS squad. Shout out to everybody watching this video right now. Drop a like down below because I already know you're going to love it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Man, I'm a little frustrated, honestly, because the news broke about Chris Paul being officially out and then Eric Gordon was going to be starting. So with Chris Paul out, I was more interested in, in, in Harden. So I threw Harden in my GPP real quick because I was working on my GPP line. I threw Harden and AD in that GPP line, and guess what it scored? 367 was its total. And if Lou Will would have had a regular game, uh, especially with the matchup and with Blake Griffin gone, I damn near hit 400 for the second time in eight days. But Lou Will kind of didn't do well, so that kind of screwed me there. But what's frustrating is my favorite line that I like to throw in all my double ups. I didn't have Harden, and it's one of those nights where, I mean, in my head, I'm thinking, man, the chances for Houston to blow Orlando out without Aaron Gordon are very, very high, regardless if Paul's playing or not. So I allowed that to overdo my thinking. So on my favorite line, I didn't have Harden in there, and I just ran AD in it. So it was it was hard to cash if you didn't have Harden because he had a ridiculous night. Uh, scoring over 100 DraftKings points. So it was another one of those nights, if you don't have that guy, it's over, okay? And my thought with it being a blowout, I didn't have Harden in that one, but thank God I had him in the GPP. GPP did great. Uh, peop everybody killed it who played the GPP line. The favorite cashed in some double-ups, but only certain ones because of Harden being high-owned. So, But it is what it is. Hey, I can't be mad about scoring a 367, both lines being over a 300. I can't be mad about that, all right? I just got to keep my head up and move on, all right? Starting off for this high five, guys. As you know, the giveaway is going down. Like the video down below, 200 plus likes. Comment anything in the comment section. It doesn't even fucking matter. Anything you want to comment and your name will be entered into the giveaway. I will be giving away $50 on Sunday to one of you. All right? So here we go. Let's go ahead and get straight into the high five. Starting off at point guard, Damian Lillard at home in Portland. I get he just played the Clippers and he did very, very well. I love how great he looked, and the price at 8900 is just fine for me. He's a lock for 5x um, against Chicago. Chicago's worst in the league versus guards. They struggle mightily. Damian Lillard only played 36 minutes, so it's not like he's going to be super tired. This dude's a professional athlete, so yes, it's a back-to-back, -back, but his matchup is just too juicy to ignore. I love Damian Lillard at 8900 At shooting guard. I am going to be going with Josh Richardson. Man, it's starting to seem as if anybody versus Cleveland is a must play in DFS, and that's what I'm going to keep riding. I mean, Josh Richardson's in an amazing position here. Cleveland's on the back end of a back-to-back. -back. They just lost to Detroit. Their defense is just broken down. It's just not good at all. Them getting Isaiah Thomas was a bust. Isaiah hasn't been doing nothing. It was a bad move on their part, and, and they've got Isaiah Thomas going at Kevin Love, who's actually been solid. He's going at Kevin Love like he even has a right to even speak in at all. Like, you just came back from bumping your hip, okay? You had a hip injury like my grandma has, and you're going to come back and complain about Kevin Love, who actually is putting up and doing okay, and you can't even make a shot? So I, the whole team's just broken down, man. I was watching that game, and just <laughs> Cleveland's broken. They're broken. All right, and Josh Richardson's going to ball out at 6,200. I love him. As small forward, I'm going to go with a guy I've been going a lot lately, man. I love this dude. He's been very, very consistent. He's very good defensively, so he can get the steals and stuff. Against Phoenix, Wesley Matthews. Uh, as we know, this is the best matchup you can have for a shooting guard. I mean, it's it's wonderful. At 5,500, I absolutely love Wesley. Obviously, we need to keep an eye out whether Devin Booker. It doesn't change my love for Matthews because Booker can't defend anyway. He's offensive-minded only. But keep an eye out what's going on with Booker. If Booker misses again, guys, Josh Jackson, okay? Josh Jackson has been showing up. So if, if Booker misses... Throw in some Josh Jackson into your lineups. All right, at power forward, man, this dude looked amazing the other day, and I'm going to run with him again because the matchup is just too juicy. 
I love the matchup and I love his price. Jason Tatum at 5,600. I think he's a lock for 6X at home in Boston going against New York. New York struggles mightily versus small forwards. Jason Tatum is in a great position in this matchup, okay? He dropped 42 against them at home in 31 minutes earlier this season. So I love Jason Tatum's potential in this one. Fire him up at 5,600. And at center, it's been a while since I've gone this guy, but you know what? I'm doing it this time. Dwight Howard going back to Atlanta. Let's do it, Dwight. All right? I need a 2020 game from you here. All right? I need a 2020, Dwight. It's a perfect situation. Atlanta, obviously, they are dreadful versus big men. Dwight should be able to eat Atlanta alive here. In Atlanta, he's going back to the city he loves so much. Okay? In the two games he's played Atlanta this year, they have been in Charlotte. He got 39 and then 56 recently and it, where, where he's been playing much better as of late. He's going to get 50 plus. He's a lock for 50 plus here. Going back to Atlanta, he might even show out even more. So I love Dwight Howard and that's it guys. Dame Lillard, Josh Richardson, Wesley Matthews, Jason Tatum, and Dwight Howard. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at Cam underscore ATL because with all the updates and stuff throughout the day with injury updates and all types of those, all those other extra stuff. Uh, the high five might change up. So follow me on Twitter at Cam underscore ATL so you can get the updated high five. All right, guys, let's go ahead and kill it. If you didn't have Harden, I'm sorry, guys. That's just DFS sometimes. If you don't have that guy, sometimes you just don't. Uh, my 400 lineup the other, uh, a little bit ago, I had DeMarcus Cousins on that night. He was 20% owned. I had DeMarcus cut no he was even less than 20% owned in some of my contests. DeMarcus went over when when DeMarcus went over 100 and I dominated every contest, killed it, absolutely killed it. So, I know how it is. Some people hit with Harden tonight and some people didn't. So, it is what it is. That's DFS. Good luck everybody. I hope you kill it. Like the video down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit me up with any questions down in the comment section. Or follow me on Twitter at Cam underscore ATL. And let's get this money. Greenlightdfs.com if you want to join the squad. PGA will be posted tomorrow night on my site for all of the subscribers. We've been killing PGA as well, man. So, hey, any way we can get some money, we're about that. Okay? We're not just good at NBA. We're good at NFL, MLB, PGA, whatever. Hacky sack. It doesn't matter what it is. <laughs> we're in it. Okay? So, good luck, guys. I'm out.